The round pen, because of its circular design and lack of corners, gives the horse the freedom it needs to run from pressure. At the same time, it allows us to always keep up to and be with the horse, leaving us in the perfect position to communicate, establish leadership, and make a connection. I try to have as little contact as possible with the horse before I enter the round pen, and I always keep two important facts in mind. First, I like to establish leadership from our first meeting. Second, horses are sensitive. If I walk into the pen with a bad attitude, the horse will pick up on this and resist connecting with me. I always take a minute to let go of any stress I'm carrying. If I find I can't let it go, I won't enter the round pen until I can. Connection can't be forced. It'll only happen when the horse is ready. But if you're patient, it will happen. When I feel I'm ready, I enter the ring and take that first step, establishing leadership. Horses establish leadership through movement. I'm going to copycat that movement. I'm going to pretend that uh, I'm a boss horse, a lead horse, a dominant horse, and I'm going to drive or herd this horse like another boss horse would. My focus will be on the hindquarter, and I'm going to put pressure on the hindquarter to drive the horse forward. You see, in nature, horses herd up together for protection. Now, if a boss horse drives a horse out of the herd in nature, that horse's instinct is to come back to the protection of the herd. I don't have any mountain lions out here or grizzly bears or anything like that. So to make this horse want to come back to the herd, which would be me, the boss horse, I'm going to cause discomfort in another way, a physical level. As you will see now, that inside ear is on me. That horse is focused on me. I'm starting to build some attention here already. Now, as I add pressure, you can watch the head and neck come up. I use my voice. I do a verbal cue is what I do. A kissing sound to uh, reinforce movement. I can use my body to reinforce that movement as well. And I also can use the lariat and throw the lariat out the hindquarters. Drive the horse. Focusing at the hindquarter. The reason I want movement uh, is I can't teach this horse anything unless I've got movement. I can't teach him to stop. When I'm in the saddle, I won't be able to teach him any maneuvers. I need movement. Now, what I want to do is have a change of direction. Now, I don't want the horse turning into the fence. I want the horse to roll in. So I'm going to cause movement and ask the horse to roll in by just stepping in front of it and push it off. Now, I've just changed from the right eye to the left eye. So, let's see if we can get that roll in going this direction. Cause movement. Cause movement. The horse has to be going, control, controlling the speed of that movement. I don't want it lottie dying. Come in, change direction, and roll it off this way. Very good. Very nice. That was real nice. Good. Good. Now we want this fairly consistent. So we'll try it again. Cause movement. Step in and roll them off. Okay. It's happening consistently. Once it's happening consistently like this, then we're ready to move on.